I mean, wow. Wow. Did you hear that? That wasn't me, hey? Someone moved their chair and it sounded like I farted. I just want you to know that that was not me. That was the person upstairs who moved their chair. I did not fart. Well, how's it, people? And welcome to my much anticipated, not really, Q&A. So the time has come. Yes, I hit 5,000 subscribers and I said when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'd do a Q&A. I asked you to submit your questions. So today I'm going to sit and answer your burning questions. Also, today is a very special day because I'm going to announce the winner of my giveaway, which I was meant to do at 3,000 subscribers. But finally, today is the day. So uh, let's just uh, get into this Q&A, shall we? Firstly, I also just want to say that if I pronounce any of your names wrong, I I'm sorry in advance. The first question goes to Sherelle Moody. Where does Sam come from? If you're, I'm, my eyes are going there because I'm looking at my laptop, so just excuse my eyes. Uh, where does Sam come from if your name is Sandira? Well, Sherelle, to cut a very short story long, um, once upon a time, I was in grade three. And when I was in grade three, my parents decided to change my school. When I moved to a different school in grade three, um, this girl, kind of like clutched onto my arm and she was like i'm gonna be your friend and then <laughs> she said but i don't like your name so i'm gonna change it <laughs> obviously i was in grade three so i was too young to even think that mm, maybe that's kind of not nice that she doesn't like my name in fact i was just really happy that i made a new friend on my first day at my new school so i was like okay you can change my name you can do whatever you want really she was like oh i like sam i'm gonna call you sam and that's where sam came from so from grade three throughout primary school throughout high school throughout university and now today people still call me sam i got to korea and the students when they call the teacher they will say their name the teacher's name followed by teacher but teacher in Korean is Son Seng Nim. But no one has time to say Son Seng Nim, obviously, because it's a long ass word. So everyone abbreviates Son Seng Nim to Sam. What are the chances? I know. So everyone calls me Sam Sam, which incidentally is why my channel is called Sam Sam. Now you know. This whole time you guys thought I was calling my channel Sam Sam for jokes, hey? No. There's a reason behind everything. Anyway, thanks, Cheryl, for your question. I bet you regret asking that question. You didn't expect a bloody thesis to come out my mouth, did you? <laughs> uh. Next question. Pilile Sipamla, who asks, how tall are you? <sighs> well, let's put it this way, Pilile. Let's just say that I'm tall enough to reach the bottom of the bathroom mirror. And let's just say that I'm tall enough to reach the middle shelf in my kitchen cupboard. And let's just say that I'm tall enough to never reach the top shelf at Pick and Pay. Yeah, you know the top shelf at Pick and Pay in all the aisles? Yeah, don't ask me what's up there because I don't know what's up there. But anyway, to this time to cut a very long story short, I'm 142 centimeters tall. Thanks, Billy, for your question. Kim Jazz asks what religion are you curry is my religion kishmika ramgobind definitely butchered that surname where are you originally from all i know is i come from a farm maybe i was born in a stable <gasps> maybe i am jesus i mean i think i was born in durban but my parents tell me all the time that i fell from a tree so i don't know the story is very mixed up yeah i was born in durban but I've never lived in Dover. I lived in Peter Maritzburg in KZN until I was three. And then we moved to uh, the south coast of KZN. Uh, and I lived there for the rest of my life. It's gonna be 26 years this month I've lived on a farm. Yeah, 
Farm girl, hey, poor Macy. That's what I am. Not really. Uh, and what type of sweet chocolate dessert do you absolutely miss from South Africa? My two favorite desserts from South Africa are milk tart and peppermint tart. I, I say that I miss them, but I can easily make them. So I don't like, you know, curl up in a fetal position and rock myself back and forth crying about milk tart and peppermint tart because I can make them. I've made milk tart um, multiple times. I haven't made peppermint tart yet. And I think that should be my next mission. So let me know if you want to see a video on me making peppermint tart. <laughs> should be an adventure as usual. Uh, Faisha Max says, or Faisha, Faisha Max says, what are you doing in Korea? <laughs> That's a valid question. I, I teach English in Korea. I also uh, waste a lot of time taking photos of abandoned chairs in Korea. And I also waste a lot of time making videos. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm going to be 30 next month. Anyway, next question. Uh, Amina Bibi Ali. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. So it's my first year of teaching. I teach grade four to seven. My question is, what motivated you to start teaching? <laughs> uh, if we're gonna keep it real here, we're gonna keep it very real. Um, what motivated me to start teaching? Basically, my lack of job motivated me to start teaching. I, I was unemployed and I was like, you know what? I'm going to uh, take a gap year and go to Korea and start teaching and uh, I did that. I straight off to uh, university, I went to Korea and that gap year turned into what is now going to be my seventh year. So any survival tips? Uh, a whole lot of coffee and a whole lot of therapy sessions. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just therapy sessions. <laughs> I'm just Joking, kind of. Seriously. The only survival tip I can give you, you gotta be super flexible, you gotta be super patient, um, and you gotta think on your feet. If you don't have those three skills, you better start developing them very soon. I hope that helps. <laughs> Georgia Bella Smith asks, do you speak Korean? That's how she wrote it. I'm just reading it how she wrote it. The answer is Aniu. Chokum, 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 chokum. Uh, Sean O'Toole asks, Will you be doing a meetup in Korea? Sean, like, who's gonna want to meet me? No one's gonna want to meet me. Um, I just feel like I'm not at that stage yet <laughs> with my channel where people want to meet me. I feel like it's just gonna be you and me, Sean, and maybe Harry the Hedgehog, although he's still not talking to me because I forgot him in South Africa. It was one time. So it's just gonna be you and me, Sean. I also feel like I'm such a boring, shy person. I really am. I feel like you're gonna regret this question, Sean. Uh, my, my, my Muna, Variawa. Oh boy, did I butcher that name. I'm so sorry. I love the red lipstick you use. Thank you. Uh, what brand and color is it? Okay, this question's a bit of a problem, you see, because um, I don't like I don't know which one you're talking about. The problem is I I have so many lipsticks, and they're all like different shades of red. Like guys, Fifty Shades of Red. Seriously. Let me wait. Let me let me let me just show you quickly. Here's here, here are all my lipsticks. Do you see that? Like, do you see this? Um, so yeah, do you see why I'm not gonna know which one you're talking about? <laughs> I have 34, 34 lipsticks. <laughs> and if you're saying that I have a problem, well, your face is a problem. The two that I use the most often in my videos are these two. Uh, so I don't know, maybe you're talking about one of these. So this one is from Sephora and it doesn't actually have a name. It's just got, it's just like zero one. And this one is like a deeper, richer one that I use. Uh, this is MAC. It's the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade uh, Dance With Me. Today's one, however, is neither of those. 
um, it is actually this one. It's Wet n Wild, uh, the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Missy and Fierce. <laughs> I just bought this. I think it's really pretty. It's a really pretty red. Um, it also looks like every other red <laughs> that I own, so um, I know I have a problem. Anyway, your face is a problem. Uh, Curtis Griffiths says, Hey, do your non-Indian friends ever enjoy... Wait, what? Do your non-Indian friends ever enjoy just listening to your Indians speak? I'm so confused by this question. <laughs> Firstly, I've never asked my non-Indian friends if they ever enjoy just listening to us Indians speaking. Uh, and secondly, if my non-Indian friends do enjoy just listening to us Indian speaking, then they need to get a hobby. And thirdly, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I've never asked, uh, but I'll be sure to ask my non-Indian friends if they ever enjoy listening to us speaking. Thank you for your very weird question. Timothy Egg Egapen. Egg Egapen? Uh, does Korea have a South African shop or products for sale? Um, I think we do. I think it's called like Seoul Spaza Shop, the Seoul Spaza Shop. Uh, the last time I looked at their website, they had like knickknacks and Nando sauces and um, oh, spices, toothpaste, which is very handy because um, Colgate is an issue in Korea. Uh, Kelly asks, what shows are you currently binging on Netflix? I need some good recommendations. I am currently not binging anything on Netflix. I just finished Peaky Blinders and now I'm depressed. So, but the thing is, Peaky Blinders, I will say that it's not for everyone. It's like, it's, it's very dark and it's got a whole lot of violence in it. A lot of violence and it's very gory. And so if you're not into like blood and all of that, uh, then it's probably not for you. Uh, but it's a really good show. Like it's a, it's a brilliant show, which is why I binged it and now I'm finished with it and now I'm depressed. So if you guys have anything else that I can watch, on Netflix, please let me know because I'm in need of a new show to binge watch. House of Facts asks, uh, what are some of the reasons you like to stay in Korea over South Africa and what are some of the reasons you would like to stay in South Africa over Korea? Wow, what an interesting question. Korea over South Africa, very easy. Uh, safety, number one. I don't even have to think about that for too long. Uh, convenience, Korea is like, the definition of convenience. Uh, South Africa over Korea, that's also an easy one. Um, food, we have, we still, I haven't tasted a better cuisine than our food. Our weather, I mean, I live in KZN. We, like, my province has the best weather, I think, in the world. Um, and just the diversity. The reasons I would stay in South Africa over Korea. All the reasons have nothing to do with the government. Anything that the government has no control over. Those are the reasons that I love South Africa. So, food, weather, friendly people, um, the beauty, the diversity, all those things government has no control over. So, that that's an eye opener. Yeah, that that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, Simone, I'm gonna choose one question because you asked a lot of questions. I'll take the first one. Do you ever get lonely in Korea? If so, how do you combat it? There was only one time when I was properly lonely and that was when I was on the island. I was so isolated on the island and so... I had no idea how lonely I was until it all just came crashing down on me and my body just fell to pieces basically and I had to return home so yeah so that was the only time but when I'm on mainland Korea like now and all the other towns that I've lived in on mainland Korea I've never really felt lonely because I've always had people around me I've had friends we were always doing things always over the weekends we were doing things um, so yeah, I never felt lonely and if I did, I would speak to my friends or I'd uh, do something with them or I'd just go away on a solo trip and do something and then I would forget about being lonely because I was occupied doing that activity. Yeah, it was just that one time on Jindo, which we don't talk about anymore. I'm erasing that from my 
memory. Zubair Omar says, uh, can you give us a backstory on the chair tattoo? I kind of told you already. I came to Korea. I noticed that there were lots of abandoned chairs everywhere, but like in random ass places. And so I started taking photos of that. And then it kind of became my thing. And I just got really into it. And then, you know, one thing led to another. And next thing I know, there's a tattoo of a chair on my wrist. Also, my chairs have their own page on Instagram. Go and give my chairs some love, yo. Jade Mudley asks, which other countries would you like to live in? I'd like to do a year in Japan. Pretty much. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, P.S. The Belly Button says, My favorite thing about Seoul versus the least favorite thing. My favorite thing about Seoul. Wait, let's finish with the least favorite thing. My least favorite thing is just how crazy busy it is. Especially the subway. And just like how people are like on a mission in Seoul. Like Seoul is like really life in the fast lane. And I'm still like not used to that. So it's like it's too busy for my farm girl heart. Um, and it's a bit too much at times. But my favorite thing about Seoul, there are just so many things to do. When I say there are endless things to do in Seoul, I mean literally there are endless things to do in Seoul. You will never be bored. There is just always something happening in Seoul. And it's just so much fun and it's just so much fun fun and did i mention that it's just so much fun uh hari vijay hari vijay bubalan says uh can you tell us all the tamil words that you know <laughs> um are you ready to be disappointed uh my mother i told you i mentioned this in a video she's a third or fourth generation south africa which means she's been separated from india by three or four generations and she can still speak tamil but did she teach us any tamil words no so tamil stops with my mother so now thanks to my mother i can only speak english and a bit of afrikaans and now a little bit of korean that's all i can speak but she taught us like random words like she t she taught us um what a thief is apparently that's thirde but I don't, like, I stand to be corrected. It's possible that she taught us wrong words just to make us look like fools. I know a piglet, <laughs> like I told you, she taught us random words. <laughs> so I know a pig or a piglet is a panakuti. Maybe, no wait, so a pig is a panna, maybe. And a piglet is a panakuti, because kuti means like small, I think. I know what like, um, a male's you know private part is but i won't say that and um and i know lies i know lies because i hear my grand saying it all the time she keeps saying rombopoya so that's like a lot of lies uh so i don't know who she keeps talking about who's like telling a lot of lies but she keeps saying it and so i know rombopoya means a lot of lies yeah that's about it hey that's really sad like that's the extent of my tamil i'm sorry to disappoint you oh my gosh that's all the questions i mean that's not all the questions i'm really sorry if i didn't answer your question there were a lot of questions so i cut it down i want to thank you for your questions we hit 5,000 subscribers hooray uh, on to 6,000. Here we go. Okay, guys, it is time for the giveaway. I don't know why I'm so excited. Like, I'm getting the gift. I think I'm just gonna use my my sweetie box. So, I should probably take my sweets out. <laughs> you didn't hear all my sweets just falling off. Those were not sweets. Those were um, rocks. I don't know what they were. I don't eat sweets. I, what? Harry, drum roll. Harry, ha Harry, where are you? Why are you hiding? Bruh, this is a very important moment. <sighs> Honestly, sit there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And the winner is... Ah! Oh my gosh, I got two, I got two, I got two. <sighs> Here we go. Luke Moodley. Congratulations, <laughs> Luke Moodley. Uh, if this is you, I need you to comment below with your email address so that I can get your postal address. Do not post your postal address in the comments. Put your email there and I will get hold of you. Or get hold of me. My email is on my YouTube page. Get hold of me on my email address and we can get in touch. Luke, I'm giving you uh, three days. If you do not get hold of me in three days, your, the prize goes to someone else. So you better get on it. And that is it. 
That is it, guys. Giveaway done. Q&A done. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you don't subscribe to my channel, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to put kimchi in your eyes. And you don't want that. And I We'll see you next time for a new video. Goodbye.